My eyes are watering just a bit. Hey y'all, welcome back to this channel. So today I'm gonna be reviewing the new Makeup by Mario concealers that everybody has been talking about. Um, I'm gonna be trying them out giving it an honest review so if y'all are interested in what I think about this new product then make sure y'all hit a like down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the rest of my content and yeah let's just get into this review all right y'all so I got the majority of my face on except for concealer so it is called the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. And I got two shades because I 340 and 320. Here. So, so I want to say let's go in with the 340. Okay. So it comes with a paddle attachment. So let's see. Okay, the 340 is definitely too dark. I think. Let's look in the mirror. Okay, yeah. So the 340 is going to be more like a. Um, color corrector. So let's just put that in. Now I'm going to go in with the brightening concealer. See? And then one side I'm going to set with powder. And then one side I'm going to let set by itself. So I am seeing some um, my concealer is peeling a little bit. But I, don't, I honestly think that's a me problem. That be happening to me all the time. Now. Okay. Now let's just try it without self setting. My eyes are watering. Just a bit. okay. So I'm just let it set. All right, y'all. This is the final review of the Ease Drop Tint, and I just realized I forgot to set my face. All right, y'all. So my review on this concealer is. So y'all know I'm still a little bit of a beginner with the makeup thing. I so I set it on this one, and I did end up setting on this one because it wasn't drying in time. But I would let it set a little bit before I put powder on it because you see this one has a little bit more creases. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all see this one got a little bit more creases than this one. And this is when I set it immediately. Also, I got a little patchiness right here. I don't know what that happened. Why that happened. That happened while I was blending. Um, and then you have this eye. I kind of did a little bit better technique over here. Um... It's not a lot, it's not a lot of creases. This is not a beginner concealer. You gotta be deep in the makeup game to know how to use these cause I was struggling a little bit. I just used the e.l.f. I think the hydrating camo, I think that's a good one, but it's a good concealer. I would rate it probably like a, I would rate it probably like a nine out of 10, eight out of 10. Cause it's a good concealer. My technique is just a little bit off, but I think it's a good concealer, low key. The coverage is good. Yeah, the coverage is good. Like, the coverage is good. It's there. It's just the skill level. I wouldn't be a beginner trying these, so you might struggle a little bit, but that's just me, so I don't know. But let me know what y'all think about this concealer, because I heard a lot of things about this concealer saying it creased a little bit, which mine did, but my under eyes always crease 
So, I didn't think, it took me a real long time to realize that creasing was really like a big deal to people. Because mine always creases, because I guess that goes back to my technique. But the creasing doesn't bother me. It's more really about like the coverage and the self-setting. It does self-set a little bit. It just takes a little bit of time. And I ain't have time for that. Um, yeah, but, and then it also might depend on your skin type. Because I'm a little oily in this area, so... <laughs> we'll see but that will conclude my review and i hope y'all enjoyed my opinions and trying out this product and if y'all want to see i don't know i like doing makeup stuff so i'm really just gonna be doing whatever i want on this channel so i hope y'all like it but yep i will see y'all next week bye